Wang Yongjie, wife to Ji Zonghu, a Chinese national who allegedly killed while on duty, made her way to teacher's house to address journalists on what she calls an injustice. Wang was accompanied by her lawyers from the Center for Legal Aid, led by renowned lawyer Isaac Semakade. According to the family, the deceased came to Uganda last year, and on arrival he was received by Mahat Infra Uganda Limited, a company whose board chair is the NRM vice chairperson for Eastern Uganda, Captain Mike Mkula. The family alleges that upon arrival, the documents of the deceased were confiscated before he was subjected to different kinds of work at the company. Ji Zonggu was forced to do welding and metal grinding work on a, in a crowded and poorly ventilated environment for many hours a day for almost 18 months with no labor contract, with no rights at all, with mega pay, no health insurance, no work permit, no alien registration card. According to the lawyers, Ji Zong, whose health condition worsened, and by the time he was taken to hospital, it was already too late. A medical report has been issued by IHK, and they are saying the person they received had been overdue for intensive care by 10 days. So this company had first presented him to Kisubi Hospital, and they rejected the medical advice to have him admitted because he was an undocumented worker. Now, the wife of Mr. Wu, who recently arrived in Uganda after hearing news about the death of her husband, is seeking for justice. They are now accusing Captain Mike Mukula for exploitation and trafficking. They can't hide behind company names, yet they are the crooks who are engineering labor exploitation, human trafficking. And we are going to hold you personally liable. We are not going to rest. They have also called on to the government to investigate the new companies. Their first product, they named it HMV. Kavaka Mtebi. They gave it the name of our Kavaka, of my Kavaka. Now, speaking for myself, I am disgusted. I am astounded. And I reject this. And I call upon the Katikiro of Uganda, Senior Counsel, Charles Peter Maiga, who obviously didn't do enough due diligence on this company to move quickly to avert the dilemma, the quagmire, and the kafafo in which he has placed our kabaka. Speaking to Mike Mkula via phone, he says they are not ready to respond to the allegations. No comment for the time being, no comment. For now, no comment for the time being? Yes. Okay, thank you so much. We'll get back to you when you people decide to respond. Perfect. Recently, the Katekiro of Buganda, Charles Peter Maiga, was a guest at the launch of a water vessel by Mahati Infra Uganda Limited. Flavian Inkuze, CTV, PM Edition. <laughs>